What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to give updates on two very popular penny stocks at the moment in the form of Healthier Choice Management, ticker symbol HCMC and High Tide, ticker symbol HITIF. Now I have made a lot of detailed videos which I'll link in the description below but today I want to discuss some new updated catalysts for both of these stocks that are going to really impact the price going forward. So just in summary, the three things I want to discuss today is their current share price, their new catalysts and my plan going forward for both of these stocks. And with all that being said, let's dive right on over to Trading 212. Here we are on Trading 212. On the left, we can see we currently have 8,706 euro invested, are up 1,306 euro or 17.66%. We also have 100 euro free funds, which I'll discuss later on in this video as well. But first, let's have a look at High Tide and their current share price. Ironically enough, High Tide is probably one of my most promising stocks in my opinion in terms of fundamentals, which we'll discuss later on, although it's actually the worst performing, which is crazy to think. For example, at the moment it's down 22.5%. We have 261 shares and are down about 31 euro. So it's not too bad because it's quite a small position. I really do find this drop in price bizarre. Again, I know penny stocks are volatile. However, 20% or so drop over the last few weeks does not kind of reflect their overall fundamentals and how the stock is performing. Again, we'll discuss that later on. But at the moment, it's trading at about 50 pence or 50, 51 pence nearly. So that's the one month chart. It doesn't look promising. But again, I always say you need to look further than a one month chart if you're a long term investor. For example, if you look at the three month chart, they're up nearly 140% from this time three months ago. They're currently trading at 51 cent a share, as I just stated but they did have highs of nearly 80 cents a share. And we can see the dotted line here is my average price, which currently is about 64 cents per share. But without repeating myself, I have discussed all of these in detail in a lot of my prior videos on high tide, but there are they're kind of the main fundamentals that I jot down for any of my stocks. And you can see there's quite a few catalysts here, such as the product offering and diversification, celebrity endorsements, they have a great CEO in the form of Raj, ever expanding, and we can even see the bottom point here that I discussed in my last video that they're opening a lot more stores as well. They're also the leading Canadian cannabis stock. They have huge potential at the current price, and that's even more so now that they're after dropping about 20% in my opinion. They're still filing for the NASDAQ, so if they get onto that, that's going to be a huge catalyst in terms of exposure and will only be a benefit to their share price and company overall. Their mergers and acquisitions are going very well as well. They're really focusing on their e-commerce side at the moment, which is imperative in my opinion. They had great quad one earnings that I discussed again in the videos in the description below. The quarter one earnings and even quarter four earnings from last year are very impressive. Again, I can't really merit why this stock has been dropping 20% or so at the moment. Marketbeat.com also made an interesting article on high tide a few days back where they discussed three important factors for this stock going forward. Now, the first of these that I already discussed was the quarter one earnings that I've made in-depth videos on already. So we won't go into that today, but they were very impressive. The second of these is another catalyst is the US penetration. So if they can really tap the US market, again, once the US laws get relaxed, that could be in a few weeks or months or even years, who knows, but once they actually get into the US market, that will be extremely beneficial for this company. Again, another thing that I already discussed was the mergers and acquisitions and how impressive that's being. For example, they've after snapping up Meta Growth and Smoke Cartel recently, both have fairly well-established e-commerce sites or platforms, something that High Tide was lacking in my opinion, so this is great for long-term perspectives for this company. Now one update which might merit the drop in price would be the dilution in shares. We can see here on the left, the cannabis retailer High Tide files for up to 100 million Canadian US dollars, or Canadian dollars should I say, of base shelf prospectus, which means effectively they want to start diluting their shares to have more capital at play to take advantage of other plays within their company. So it's no surprise that penny stocks need cash to keep going. So does every company, but penny stocks in particular. So we can see here that this prospectus would be incorporating in shares, warrants, units, subscriptions, etc. And would be valid for up to 25 months. Now the proceeds from this dilution would be going for plans such as capital projects. We can see on the left here internal expansion and for acquisitions of other businesses, assets or securities. So what I plan on doing with high tide is to get the dotted line here. My average price is about 64 and a half cent at the moment. I want to get that as close to 50 cent a share as I can. And by doing that, it'll be by buying at cheaper prices. So we can see my current price is down 22 and a half percent. And we currently have 108 euro invested. So I'm actually going to put a further 50 euro or 50% more shares, 
which will probably get me up to let's say nearly probably the 400 share mark at that stage and then hopefully it's going to cut down my overall average price within the stock effectively getting me closest as possible to the 50 cent mark the reason why i'm not putting the full 100 euro in is because penny stocks as you know are very volatile so it could easily keep dropping and dropping so i do want to have a cash reserve ready to take advantage of this now in tomorrow's video we're going to discuss stocks and stocks and etfs that i'm buying this week because i will be depositing further capital next thursday once i get paid so again we discuss this stock in a small bit more detail in tomorrow's video now the second stock i want to give a brief update on today is head to choice management ticker symbol hcmc which we can see currently is trading at 0.00161 cent a share so we can see over the last month on the one month chart it has been fairly getting beat down and it had gone down to about 0.01069 of a cent a share so we can see over the last month it's gone up about 7.33 percent which is quite surprising to see and the reason why i think this is surprising is because if you look at the one year chart we can see the huge fall off it's literally like a roller coaster going downwards over the last year or so it was at about 0.0054 cent a share and it has had a huge sell-off again a lot of the reason has been around this lawsuit and the vape infringement with philip morris which we'll have a very brief look at now there has been a slight update on that as well now over the last few weeks there has been kind of two major updates on hmc outside of the lawsuit again we'll go to the lawsuit after this but the two of those were the opening of their online store and also their online twitter page that is now an official twitter page again you might think the twitter page is not big news but it actually is because as you know penny stocks they are very volatile and can be very kind of secretive so by having an official page it really does clear up a lot of things for hmc investors which is very important also the online store is of huge importance as well as you can imagine however i do feel still that about 90 percent of the investors in hmc are waiting on the lawsuit and have little to no interest on in these two updates now the reason i believe that people don't have interest in let's say the twitter page or else their online store is mainly because they don't want the fundamentals in the stock a lot of people which right or wrong are just interested in making a quick buck which again that is got to do with stocks i suppose but in terms of my investing i usually do prefer to invest in the more longer term investments that do have a lot of potential and strong fundamentals and i still do believe hitif has a lot of potential hence why i'm buying more now i currently don't have any shares in hmc as you know i'm fully transparent on this page and i don't believe that it warrants an investment in my opinion like if i was to invest i'd only be investing a very small fraction of my capital which wouldn't really be worthwhile even if it did go up in price so that's why i'm not buying any shares within hmc at the moment however with that being said there is still huge opportunity to make money with hmc we can even see on the left here some very promising news that their law firm is ranked the top 100 in the overall country with 775 attorneys across 29 cities and two continents so if you're unsure of this lawsuit or want an update it's basically that hmc are suing philip morris for a patent infringement on one of their vapes and we can see here that philip morris claims that they are currently approaching 40 million users of this product estimated to be over 3 billion in revenue so as you can imagine a lot of this lawsuit will be behind closed doors due to the impact of what it's actually about so again lawsuits have to be kind of kept behind wraps as such until there is a decision given however we can see on the left here the kind of timeline of how things have been going and we can see the bottom one here on may 12 2021 was the infringement contentions where hmc and philip morris are currently acting on so even though hmc have a brilliant law firm behind them again ranked in the top 100 within the country people seem to be very optimistic on how this lawsuit is going to be going as you can see on screen over the last week the share prices went up over 46 percent and even for a penny stock is quite substantial but in my opinion and again this is just my personal opinion i don't think the risk reward ratio is quite valid on this stock to be honest so for that reason i'm not going to be investing into this stock going forward and again just because i'm not investing doesn't mean you don't need to either i'm not a financial investor and you need to do your own due diligence before investing any of your hard-earned capital but that's just my personal opinion on that stock so that's it for today's video i just want to give a brief update on high tide ticker symbol hatif and health your choice management ticker symbol hmc on any updated catalysts or news that will affect the share price going forward i discussed my plans on buying more high tide in the next few days again i'll discuss that more in tomorrow's video and that i'm not going to be buying hcmc i'd be very interested to know your comments in the comment section below 
and if you hold either high tide or healthy choice management and your reasoning behind them or even your reason for not buying them as well i'd be very interested to hear that thanks very much and with all that being said that's the end of today's video have a good monday and i will see you all tomorrow